Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make a three-level plant stand. Let's get into it. For this project, you're going to need around six to seven fence pickets, depending on how precise you make your cuts and if you're going to need to cut around any defects such as knots. I cut all the pieces for the boxes to length on the miter saw and then shaved down one side to sit flat against the fence on the table saw. Then I cut the backs and the sides of each of the planter boxes to five and a half inches wide. The front pieces of each box will be angled on both sides, but for now I just trimmed one side at a 10 degree angle. I'll cut the other side after assembly. It'll make sense, you'll see. I wanted to keep the rough look of the cedar, so I just gave a light sanding to the pieces before I started assembly. I did a quick dry assembly so I could get the exact angle for the bottom pieces and then cut them on the table saw. I used pocket holes for the assembly of the boxes because I didn't want any visible fasteners on the outside of the planters. Now my wife and I already determined that we're going to be keeping this planter on our back porch, primarily filled with pre-potted plants, so I'm not really worried about it being weatherproof or waterproof. But if you wanted to keep yours outside or actually plant plants in it, then I would recommend to drill some drainage holes in the bottom of each planter and maybe put your pocket holes on the bottom side of each of those planters so that they won't fill with dirt or water. I made sure to use Type Bond 3 because it's waterproof. I used a right angle attachment in my drill to get into those hard to reach spots in each planter box. And in my opinion, this is a must have tool in every shop, especially if you're gonna be working on these kinds of projects. I'll make sure to leave a link for it in the description below. Remember how I only cut one side of the front panel? Once the boxes were assembled, I went back to the table saw and trimmed the other side of the front to be flush with the bottom. See, I told you it would make sense. That guy's a genius. I cut some more pickets down to two and a half inches wide to use as the legs. It took me a minute to figure out what angle I wanted the second set of legs to be. I'm working on a set of plans, so I'll make sure to include those angles in the plans. I wanted the boxes to be set four inches apart, so I cut some spacers and used some ratcheting spring clamps to hold them in place. I used some vice grip C-clamps to hold the boxes so I could screw them in place. These are super handy. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. I had plenty of scraps left, so I cut them down to two and a half inch wide strips and added a little shelf on the back of the planter.
All right, our tri-level planter is done. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Uh, it didn't take very long at all, just a couple hours to figure all the angles out and to put it all together. And it took, I think, about seven uh, pickets total, which would make this thing cost less than 30 bucks, really, because right now they're a little under uh, $3 a piece where I live. It works out perfect for what we want inside this enclosed porch, but if you wanted to keep it outside, you could drill some drainage holes in the bottom of each planter. You could also seal the inside of them so that they would be waterproof. There's a lot of different things that you could do with this project. All in all, we're really happy with how this came out for what we're going to use it for, and I hope it gave you a few good ideas for when you build your own to fit your own space. We work on a new project every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching, be safe, and have a great day.